For thousands of years, mankind has harnessed the power of the wind to explore the oceans and seas. But perhaps it's time to explore another natural resource. This is a 55-foot solar-powered yacht. But is it possible to power what is essentially a four-bedroom house on two hulls using just the power of the sun? This is the Fully Charged Show. Fully Charged Live is coming to California this September 10th and 11th, powered by Electrify America. Get your tickets to the number one EV and home energy show now. To drive from A to B and to live on a boat, solar is definitely the best solution. It's the most powerful solution, the most efficient solution, the cheapest solution, uh, and uh, the solution with the, with the longest lifespan. Well, this is rather pleasant, isn't it? Mm. It was very nice of Silent Yachts to invite us out to Mallorca. Yeah, and actually, they have just sent us the coordinates. They're, um, they're sending an e-tender, oh, which is rather nice. nice. Are, you, um, are you ready? I will meet you out there. How are you getting there? Door about. I'll see you there. All right. Now, Silent Yachts have developed the world's first commercially available solar-powered yacht. And we're even travelling there on this e-tender, affectionately known as the Rubber Duck, which has been charged by the solar panels. And I mean, this definitely isn't lost on us that this is a complete and utter treat. But look where we are. We're here in Mallorca, where the sun is absolutely blaring. And this seems like a completely no-brainer technology. Where the hell is Andy? Silent Yachts is a, is a new company, a couple of years old. Uh, we started in uh, 2009 to produce uh, boats, solar electric boats. And um, within a few years, um, we are now uh, in the range of up to 120 feet. This is a Silent 55. We have a 60, 62, 64, 80, 82, 102 and 120. We have been sailing boats with wind for thousands of years. Yeah. Why solar power? Of course, with wind you can generate also electrical power, but this needs much more surface, um, big, huge uh, wind generators. So a sail, in my opinion, I'm sailor at heart, yeah, definitely. Uh, but um, with a sail, I cannot do what, I, what we are doing here. Uh, we, we have air conditioning running. We have everything running like in a, in a very comfortable household. Um, uh, how with a sail? Yeah, will you wrap the energy in <laughs> into the sail? It doesn't work. So, so on sailboats, usually you run the generator when you're at anchor in a bay like here. And that's why, uh, that's why, at least on a boat, uh, a solar panel is definitely superior uh, to using the wind as a power source for energy. So I'm up here on the driving deck, which is absolutely amazing because not least have we got a little bit of a breeze, but we can see this entire array of solar panels. But it's really difficult to imagine just how much energy these are creating. But what I'm told is that these can create up to 60 kilowatt hours per day. Now, imagine that you've got 300 sunny days like somewhere here in, in Mallorca. That's 18,000 kilowatt hours per year. Which, to put that in context, that's like running three average electric vehicles at 15,000 miles per year or around three five-bedroom houses. 
So I was chatting to Captain Mike earlier and he said that sometimes they create so much energy they can't actually store it. So what do you do with that excess? Well, sometimes they've been known to provide electricity for other boats at the harbour. But for today, I believe that Andy is going to find that exceptionally helpful. The silent yacht doesn't just harness the power of the sun to charge the batteries to then drive the motor and drive the propellers, which drive the boat along. That battery is also supplying electricity to everything on board because everything's electrical. So we've got massive fridge freezers, we've got coffee machines, we've got the, um, the, the water tank, which produces fresh water, does about, I think, 150 litres a minute. Um, and everything is super efficient. In fact, we've even got a charge point here, 230 domestic volt uh, supply to charge all our camera batteries that we're using today while filming on the, on the yacht. And you can recharge that, that surplus energy you're creating to charge the little tender boat that Imogen used earlier, the DPV that I've used. And everything's designed to be super efficient to make best use of that electricity the sun is giving us. We are consuming in a, on a normal, average day, like today. Uh, if we, for example, drive with the boat for five, six hours, if we run the air conditioning, and if you, we, we cook breakfast, uh, lunch and dinner, uh, we will consume 80, 100 kilowatt hours per day. Uh, that means in liters, uh, if this would be a conventionally powered um, uh, boat, uh, this would be because the engines are not as efficient. So it's not the amount of fuel you put in, you get out in energy. Uh, most of it is, is, is wasted, unfortunately. Uh, so this will be probably about 80 to 100 liters that we would use today on a conventionally powered boat for the same comfort, the same distance, the same amenities. On this boat, uh, it will cost nothing. Uh, and uh, even if we take some power on, uh, from the batteries today, tomorrow morning it will be recharged for free and latest at noon time the batteries will be full again. What's great about the silent yacht is that they haven't just taken uh, an old diesel boat and taken the engine out and stuck some solar panels on it. Much like uh, some of the newer car manufacturers, they've designed this boat from the ground up because there's things you just don't need anymore. You don't need a massive space for an engine. Um, but also that's given them the opportunity to make it as efficient as possible to make best use of the power that the solar panels are generating. And one of the cool things is this, it's called the flybridge, which is basically a cover uh, over the, the main bit that you, you, you sort of steer from and where the power, power panels are up here. When you are going uh, motoring ahead, you can lower this flybridge down, which makes the whole boat more aerodynamic, which reduces drag, which makes the boat uh, more efficient and you're losing less power to, to go ahead. And that same thinking isn't just up top, it's actually under the water as well, because it's, this is a twin-hulled boat, a catamaran, which is a very efficient uh, type of vessel as far as cutting through the water, being hydrodynamic, again reducing drag, which increases efficiency. And even the shape of both those hulls is designed to be at its most efficient at a specific speed. And that specific speed is six to eight knots, which is the normal cruising speed for the silent yacht. We did not use a conventional, already existing uh, drawing concept of a catamaran. Uh, we started with a white sheet of paper and we designed the whole boat around the solar panels and the electric motors. For obvious reasons, we need to maximize um, the solar surface. As well, obvious reasons, we do not need an engine room. There is no engine. Yeah? We have a small electric motor that is somewhere under the floorboards. Uh, you won't even see it. Um, it's com compared to a diesel engine, it's, it's tiny. Yeah? We are talking about the size of about two shoe boxes uh, for a motor that has uh, 250 kilowatts. Uh, so it can be hidden anywhere. Uh, that means the whole concept of the boat is completely different. So in here is one of two 250 kilowatt motors. There's um, one on either side in each of the two hulls. And each motor uh, drives individually the two propellers at the back, which clearly moves the yacht forward. 
and the yacht will do a speed of, it'll cruise at about six to eight knots with a top speed of about this particular model of about 17, 18 knots. And it has a maximum range of about 100 miles, which is more than you need for a yacht like this and, and what it'll be used for. The good thing is the boats are not more expensive than uh, conventionally powered uh, power catamarans. The technology, in, in fact, is more expensive. Batteries uh, cost much more uh, than, a, than a normal combustion engine. They are, they're pretty cheap, in fact. We still try to keep the price at the same level as a comparable uh, conventionally powered boat. Um, in order to make it easy for the people uh, to, un to understand um, that this is the way to go. Uh, but you're, uh, in fact, um, even if it would be more expensive, it will be paid back pretty soon because we have virtually no uh, maintenance costs, because there is no maintenance. We have lifetime warranty on the electric motors and, uh, and 25 years warranty on the solar panels, 10 years warranty on the batteries. So this is a long, very long lifespan. I've never heard about a warranty for sales, that you get 10 year warranty on a sale or on a, on a diesel engine. It simply does not exist. So all the other things also need to be exchanged. And uh, the lifespan of, of the equipment that we install is much longer. And it pays back um, twice because almost no service cost, longer lifespan and three times actually um, no consumption or virtually no consumption. In here we've got three compartments and in each compartment is a big battery pack. And each battery pack is 75 kilowatt hours. The whole thing will give you 225 kilowatt hours. Now, to alleviate any concerns you might have about having big batteries in a boat at sea, these batteries are all secured waterproofed to IP68 rating, which means you can drop one of these batteries in the sea, five feet, a meter and a half depth of water, leave it there for half an hour, pull it out, towel it off, plug it back in and it will still work. So these are super safe. Now for completeness, I need to mention that the Silent Yacht does have a small diesel generator. You don't need it, you don't need to, to run any appliances inside to charge the tender, to charge the DPV, and of course you don't need it to power the vessel. It is purely for emergencies and it would be irresponsible to be out in the middle of the Atlantic without some means of backup power. Uh, that boat over there um, is the uh, Silent Solar Wave 64. It um, went across all Europe several times and um, also crossed the Atlantic Ocean. And entirely on solar power? Entirely on solar power, yeah. It's, it's the first uh, electrically powered series uh, production boat um, that ever crossed uh, the Atlantic Ocean. When we started this project, um, the whole uh, mindset of the people was different. Uh, everybody uh, thought to know uh, that nobody needs it. It's a niche product. Uh, why should anyone put some solar panels or let's say more than one or two solar panels on sailing boats is typical because if you need more power, you have a generator. It's easier. It's existing technology. Everything is available, well known. Um, so there was um, uh, no need for a change on the market, uh, one could think. Yeah? It was not like this, because there were many people that wanted to have a change. Uh, we understood that and uh, that's why we were convinced that it will not only be a niche product, uh, that it will become mainstream. It's clear that green energy is percolating into every aspect of our lives and what I would like to see is the sort of technology that silent yachts are using crop up in other maritime industries like on fishing boats and big cargo vessels. But what silent yachts have also proven that yes, it absolutely is possible to power yachts using the power of the sun. We have had an absolutely extraordinary day, travelled the island of Mallorca, had some outstanding hospitality and just used 20% of the batteries. Of course, if you liked what you've seen, 
click, click on the like button, uh, subscribe, and all the usual bits and bobs that are down below. And if you have been, thanks for watching.